MK. Thanks, guys. Well, Pope Francis is about to hold mass at St. Peter's Basilica on this Good Friday. Yesterday, the pontiff once again breaking Vatican tradition, becoming the first pope to wash the feet of women during the Holy Week ritual. And as he's celebrating his first Easter season as pope, Catholic Church is experiencing a resurrection of its own. Fox's Lauren Green is live from St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City. Hey, Lauren, tell us how, what the scene is there. Well, you know, Christians are actually flocking to St. Patrick's Cathedral for Good Friday services. You know, last night's Holy Thursday Mass was standing room only. And there is sort of a new sense of enthusiasm that Pope Francis is bringing. And like you said, there is a sense that the church is going through a sort of resurrection. Uh, from the moment he appeared on the balcony of uh, St. Peter's Square in Rome following his election, Pope Francis signaled a new direction for the Catholic Church. The Catholics Come Home campaign is seeing renewed interest. We've heard from uh, lapsed Catholics who say they're excited about taking another look at the church. We've heard from non-Catholics who say they're excited about this new pope. He's a pope for the whole world. Now, Peterson also saying that Pope Francis brings to the Catholic Church a charisma they have not seen since uh, John Paul II. Allison. Okay, so Lauren, the faithful say that they're excited about what Pope Francis is doing, but how are the church officials, the Vatican officials, feeling about when he breaks with tradition like this? Well, you know, Allison, you know, the church has gone through a lot in the last few decades. You've got the very costly sex abuse scandals, the Vatican government very corrupted, and of course the unthinkable Pope Benedict XVI resigns. Uh, you know, Francis's humbler style and his Latin roots are, are breaking from tradition, and in these differences are scoring big with not just Catholics, but Protestants and evangelicals. But this is the season of Easter, of what had been thought dead coming back to life. And in that way, says D.C.'s Cardinal Donald Worrell, the Vicar of Christ is now a symbol of the Catholic Church living out that part of the Gospel message. At every Easter, you'll be able to look around and see parallels to what the Easter message is all about. So in that sense, you can say, yes, there's, there's a joy that having a new pope is bringing to the church. And uh, that joy is related to the fact that he's saying, remember, Christ is risen. The Cardinal Will also says this is part of God's providential plan that Pope Francis is the right man for this moment in time. Allison? Mm. So that's a nice message. Uh, Lauren, have a wonderful holiday weekend. Francis Thank has you. good timing, right? Certainly does.